We now begin our study of physics with the study of kinematics. Kinematics is the study of motion. For the next couple of chapters, we are going to look to see how things move and how we describe the motion of objects mathematically. We are not going to be concerned about why objects move the way they do. This, the study of why they move the way they do and what causes acceleration is called dynamics and we will pick that up in chapter 4. So we're going to have to describe the location of an object, how its location changes, and other things, and this is the study of kinematics. Now, real objects are very complicated, so we're going to start by defining a mathematical or a model, if you would, of what a real object is. This model will have errors in it, but it will enable the problem to be simple enough that we'll be able to describe with our math. This type of model is called a particle. A particle is an object of fixed mass, and by mass I mean that the amount of stuff of the object does not change. We're not considering, for instance, something that might have a hole in it and leak out, or we're not considering a water, uh, like a bathtub that's got the drain open where the water's going out. We're considering something like a baseball that doesn't explode, where the amount of atoms in the baseball stay fixed for all time. Also, it must have no size. That is, it must be a physical point. Now, it turns out that there is no such thing as a particle in the real world. A particle, like I said, is a model. Real objects look something more like maybe this. It's got some bar, and we're talking about describing it like that. There's my particle. It's an idealization. This is maybe a beam is a real object. A real object have size and can rotate. So if I want to say where this object is located, do we mean where this is located? Let me change my pen for a second. Or do I mean this part of it, or this part of it, or this part of it? What do we mean by the location of the object? Each one of those dots is at a different point. So a real object, you'd have to say what part of the object you meant. But a particle, because it has no size, there's no ambiguity as to where we mean when we say it's located at this point. Another thing is, is that if you hold on this thing, let's say that you were to pin it right here with some sort of a beam, then if you were to pull down on this object like this, this object would rotate like that. On the other hand, If you were to pin it over here, let's say, and you were to pull down like that, it would rotate the other way. So how it moves depends on how it's held. In the case of a point, there again, there's no question about where you hold it, and no matter how you pull it, it isn't going to rotate around. These are real objects. These are idealizations of mathematics. We will eventually get to real objects when we get through all the chapters, but for now we're going to only consider particles. Now you might say, well, then these can never represent a real thing. Well, atoms are basically almost like particles. In fact, electrons, if you take an electron which is inside an atom, 
Its size is known to be less than 1 times 10 to the minus 18 meters in diameter. In fact, it's so small, we've never been able to measure across. So there are things that idealize it. Also, I could represent something like this as a group of particles. And I could add up what happens to each one of these particles to describe this more complicated real object. Now to do that, it's going to require some really good math to be able to do that sum. And that math is called calculus, and we don't do that in this course. But the idea of a particle actually has use, even for us, and it's not such a bad thing as you might think that we've idealized it. We're going to model a lot this semester, and a lot of times that means we're going to choose models that are mathematically simple enough, and they're going to make predictions. And the question is, are those predictions close enough to the way the real world works to make the model worthwhile? It's not that the physics would be wrong if they don't work out. It's that the model wouldn't be good enough. This is just the first time we've had a concept like that. That concept is called the particle.